In Manova test, we will be discussing about Pillai trace, Wilkes lambda, Hotlinger trace, and Roy's largest root. These are the multivariate tests used in multivariate analysis of variance. To assess the overall significance of the difference among group means on multiple dependent variables. So, first we will be seeing the Pillai trace. Pillai trace is a multivariate statistical used to test the overall significance of the difference between groups in multiple variate data. <coughs> Pillai trace is a multivariate statistical uh, statistics used to test the overall significance of difference between group means in multivariate data. In the context of MANOVA, it tells us how well the independent variable that is teaching method predict the dependent variable that is English and science marks. Pillai trace is measure of proportion of variance in the dependent variable that can be explained by the independent variable. It is the most sensitive of four tests meaning that it is the most likely to detect a significant difference between the groups. So this is important to see the null hypothesis. The null hypothesis states there is no significant difference in English and science marks across the different teaching method that is ABC methods. Now let us see the data. In the MANOVA analysis, we will be getting multivariate tests. We have four type of tests. You must see the teaching methods, not the intercept. You must see the teaching methods. Here we have Pillai trace, Wilkes lambda, Hotlinger trace and Roy's largest test. Okay, roots. Now see the Pillai trace, we have the significant value is 0 0.017. Now, if this value is less than 0 0.017, 0 0.05 it means there is a difference between teaching method a teaching method b and teaching method c towards the subject marks okay so here we can see pillai trace we have a significant difference even wilkes lambda also same thing it says it is going to test all the four tests test the same thing where there is any difference between the teaching methods towards the Two subjects. So Pillai trace significant value is 0.017. If it is less than 0.05, then we are going to comment there is a significant difference between teaching methods to the subject mark. Same interpretation we'll see in terms of hypothesis. Okay, Pillai trace. The null hypothesis: there is no significant difference in English marks, science marks across the different teaching methods. See the test statistics Pillai trace, it ranges between 0 to 1. Interpretation, a large Pillai trace suggests more evidence against the null hypothesis. So if the p-value is less than 0 0.05, in our case the significant value is 0 0.05, we reject the null hypothesis and conclude that there is a significant difference in English and science marks across the different teaching methods. So we have two subjects English and science. So there is a difference between the marks that the students are getting in terms of teaching methods A method, B method and C method. Now let us see Wilkes lambda. Wilkes lambda is a measure of proportion of variance in the dependent variable that is not explained by the independent variable. It is the least sensitive of the four teaching methods. The, uh, four tests measure that it is the least likely to detect significant difference between the groups means this is the best method among the four tests the null hypothesis there is no significant difference in multivariate means of english and science marks across the different teaching methods we have abc methods so we are trying to understand is there any difference between teaching method towards marks system is saying yes because we got the significant value for wilkes lambda is 0.015 it is less than 0.05 so there is a difference between the teaching methods towards the 
subject marks wilkes lambda so compared to pili trace wilkes lambda is the best method next coming to the next one which is called hortlinger trace hortlinger trace is a measure of average difference between the groups on the dependent variable hortlinger trace evaluates whether there are significant difference between groups in a multivariate data set it's like asking whether there are meaningful variation among groups when considering multivariate together multiple variables together it is considered to be more robust test than pili trace and wilks lambda because it is less sensitive to the assumption of normality now let us see the normality that uh, null hypothesis there is no significant difference in mean english and science marks across uh, different teaching methods so if this value is less than 0.05 we are going to reject conclude that there is a difference between teaching methods towards a mark see the significant value in this case for hortlinger trace it is 0.014 it is less than 0.05 so we are going to conclude there is a difference if the p value is less than 0.05 we reject the null hypothesis and conclude there is a significant difference in the means of english and science marks across the different teaching methods a b and c methods now coming to roy's largest root roy's largest root is a measure of largest standardized difference between the groups on the dependent variable roy's largest root helps researcher determine whether there are significant difference among groups in multivariate data set it is a valuable tool for understanding complex relationship between groups and multiple variables it is considered to be the most sensitive test of the four this is a very important point most sensitive but it is also the most prone to typhon error so you try to avoid this roy's largest root commenting this is the most sensitive test now the null hypothesis there is no significant difference in the means of dependent variables across the different groups defined by the independent variable it to say that if this value is less than 0.05 there is a difference between the subject marks towards the teaching methods between the teaching methods towards the subject marks if the p value is less than 0.05 we are going to reject the null hypothesis and conclude there is significant difference in the means of dependent variables across the largest uh, the um, across the different groups depend uh, defined by the independent variable so this is the final one so we have four methods we have in the four methods we have all the values less than 0.05 so which is the most important and which is the least important now we will see comparatively for that purpose see the pili trace this is a robust and tend to perform well in a variety of situations less affected by violation of assumptions compared to some other tests suitable when assumptions of homogeneity of covariance matrix is not so pili trace is the best one when we don't have homogeneity of covariance so homogeneity is not met then it's better you are going to report pili trace wilks lambda most commonly used in practice more conservative than pili trace makes it a good choice when assumptions are met if you have assumptions you take you go with wilks lambda if assumptions are not fulfilled then go with the pili trace in our case we met the assumptions so we must report wilks lambda test in case assumptions are not met then you are going to go with the pili trace hortlinger trace suitable when they are equal sizes that is we have 32 32 32 32 uh, teaching method a 32 members teaching method b 32 members are there in teaching method c if this is a case then you are going to use hortlinger trace and the last one the fourth one roy's largest root is very sensitive and it need to meet all the assumptions so compared to in this four the best thing that suits my, for my analysis is wilks lambda why because i have the assumptions met 
and um, uh, it is better than pilitris in case assumptions are not met then only report pilitris so according to this we are going to say that there is a difference between teaching method a b and c towards english marks and science marks so that's how conclusion we have come for multivariate test now let us see for what subject there is a difference you can see test of between subject effects table in this table you can see teaching method for teaching method you can see for english marks significant value is 0.481 it mean there is no difference between teaching method a b and c towards english marks but if we see the science marks science marks is significant value is 0.015 it mean to say that it is less than 0.05 means there is a significant difference between teaching method a b and c towards science marks so for english marks whether they have any method of teaching there is no difference but coming to science when they teach in different methods there is a difference in the science marks and you can see the significant value this is 0.015 we are taking alpha is equal to 0.05 this is called alpha value but one important point i will discuss here we need to do some corrections for this alpha value that is called as family wise error rates and the bone ferroni correction in manova test involving two dependent variables there is a concern about inflated family wise error rates due to multiple test on the same data to address this the initial significant level of 0.05 need adjustment and the bone ferroni correction is applied for this purpose the bone ferroni correction involved dividing the initial significant by the number of dependent variables in this case with the initial significant value 0.05 and two dependent variables the adjusted significant level will become 0.025 that is dividing 0.05 by 2 at this significant at this bone ferroni adjustment alpha value of 0.05 only one dependent variable that is science marks shows significant with a p value of 0.015 this adjustment helps control the overall risk of making typhoon error and ensures a more rigorous criteria for declaring significance in each dependent variable test so with this conclusion we are coming to a conclusion saying that only science marks have difference for teaching method a teaching method b and teaching method c i hope you are able to understand the video and use this video for your research thank you